Hey friends, shh, I'm hiding in my storage room. I locked the door so my kids couldn't come in because I just laid out everything that we got them for Christmas and I thought I would show you what we got them and why. What do you think, you wanna see? Let me show you. Years ago, I showed you guys what we bought our kids for Christmas as we were sitting there wrapping presents and you absolutely loved it. I know it's a little late in the game because Christmas is coming really soon, but on Instagram, you guys said, please make the video anyway. It would be super helpful for next year or for birthdays or just out of curiosity to see how we do Christmas with eight kids in our home. So here I am. I know Christmas is coming soon, but if this could be helpful for you in any way, I'm gonna show you what we got for our kids for Christmas and how we do our Christmas gifts. But I gotta hurry. My kids don't know I'm down here. They're occupied right now. And uh, it's also freezing and the lighting is really bad. It's kind of creepy down here. So I'm gonna go quick. Here's how it's gonna work. For those who don't know, we've got eight kids from almost 14 down to three-year-old twins. And what I did is I just made a pile for each kid. And Bubba and I just went through the list of everything we bought, made sure that everything lined up right and I'm just going to walk through and power through and show you everything we got but before I do I recommend going back and watching a video I did a few weeks ago explaining how we decide Christmas gifts we kind of do a mixture of budget slash number of gifts so go check that out and I also share with you the ways that we get the best deals possible on all of these items so watch that one and then come on back and see what we got this year all right we will start with our son Hutch who is our oldest and he is almost 14 years old the way that we did it this year is every child gets 10 gifts. Yes, even something small like this counts as a gift and they get 10. And the way that we do it is we try to give everybody one main gift, which is usually either the largest or the most expensive. The second largest gift is from Santa and then they just go down smaller from there. So we try to make sure that not every gift is like a big expensive grand gift and we do try to balance that well. So keep that in mind as we go through here. And budget wise, our older kids tend to need items that tend to be more expensive expensive like electronics or name brand clothes that they love versus our little guys down at the end really don't care how much we spend on something, but their gifts tend to be larger in stature. So I will explain as we go how we did it, but we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight kids. All right. Hutch is definitely our most expensive because he is particular about brands. So, so two of his main gifts this year is that he gets to choose two pairs of shoes out of five. Over Black Friday, Nike had a huge sale and I had no idea what shoes he would want. He's really picky. So I got him a variety of styles and colors that I think he would really like. And I also got him a little variety of sizes because sometimes not all shoes fit the same way. Let me show you these. Some of these shoes ended up being less than $30 if you can believe it. I used Rakuten, a code from Rakuten. So I got cash back. And then for Black Friday, they had a discount on everything. So gift number one is to choose a pair of shoes. Gift number two is to choose a pair of of shoes and the other ones we will take back or he can buy them from me with his own money if he wants. So gift one, gift two. Gift number three, this will probably be Santa, this $50 Nintendo gift card so that he can buy games of choice. And then also this year we got him a brand new Gab phone. We really love Gab. They're kid safe phones that look like iPhones but then they don't have internet or apps. We actually got free devices this year with their Black Friday sale. So it ended up being very affordable for us but he really, really needs a new one because his is still the first generation <laughs> Gab phone that he's had for years and it is in rough shape. So he will be very excited to have this. Gift number four. Gift number five is this Nike sweatshirt. I am really torn. I hope he loves it because I love it. I don't know. What do you guys think in the comments? I'm obsessed with this sweatshirt and Hutch surprises me sometimes. I think either he's going to love it and be obsessed with it or he's going to absolutely hate it. I don't know. So we'll see. And if he doesn't want it, then what I would do is let him take it back to the Nike store and exchange it for something of equal or lesser value. And again, this one I got on super sale during Black Friday. Gift number six are these Nike shorts. He really wanted black Nike shorts, but I didn't know if he would want cotton, water resistant, or this shorter athletic pair. So I'm going to bundle these together and let him choose the pair that he wants and we will return the other two. Nike shorts is gift number six. Gift number seven is this old school Red Rider BB gun. Yes, you'll shoot your eye out. We were so excited about this. It wasn't actually very expensive because we bought it in a two pack on Black Friday. Beck has the other one, I'll get to that. So we are pairing it with some extra beads 
BBs and a little target so they can go to the back of our property, shoot BB guns like boys do. We also have a cabin, so this would be really fun for them to have at the cabin. So that's number seven. Gift number eight are these pants that we got him from Costco. They're just kind of normal pants paired with this hoodie from Costco. He really loves hoodies, so there's that. That's number eight. Number nine is this Nerf gun. This was actually under $20 from Sam's Club, and we got him and Beck matching guns so that they can go have fun with those. So it's huge and massive, and I think he's gonna love it. So that's number nine. And then gift number 10 isn't here yet, but we bought him some little posters with workouts on them because he's really been into exercising lately, but he doesn't really know the proper form. So we got him some workout posters that he can put on the wall in his room or down by our exercise equipment down here for when he works out. So that is 10 for Hutch. And then in terms of stocking stuffers, everybody is getting a fuzzy blanket this year. He also is obsessed with socks. So he'll have these and then just some underwear. And then the rest of his stocking will just be some candy, maybe some deodorant, just little things. Next up is Priya, who is 12 and a half. Okay, her 10 gifts. Number one are these Doodle Dazzle markers. These are actually so cool and they are not cheap. She loves, loves art. So these are like shimmer metallic markers that I'm really excited for her to have. They're almost like paint markers. This is number one. Number two is this makeup kit. She loves doing makeup and now that she's 12, she can wear a little bit. So I got her this palette so she can kind of have fun with her makeup and do her own makeup for cheer competitions and stuff. So that is number two. Number three is Priya does face paint. She's actually very, very talented and she gets hired for birthday parties and different things. So I got her this big face paint set that I really wish I could open and show you, but I think she's going to freak out. She's going to be so excited about this. Gift number four is random, but she has been begging me for kinetic sand. So I got her this big five pound set. Oh, it's so heavy. Got this around Black Friday. She's going to be so excited about it. Gift number five is this tie-dye set that I got from Costco. She's super artistic and loves doing crafts with her friends. We did some tie-dye at the cabin last summer and she loved it. So this will be a fun little set that she can do at home. And then I'm gonna go to the craft store and just get some plain white t-shirts to pair with this. By the way, a lot of these items I actually already have in a blog post and on an Amazon shopping list. So just check out the description below and I'll give you links to as many things here as I possibly can. Gift number six is this crop puffy vest. She's been begging me for a puffy vest. And then I also bought her some clothes from Sheen, Sheen, Shine, however you say it. And because she needed some jeans. So I will give her a box with this puffy vest, the jeans that I got her as well. Gift number seven is she really needed some new gymnastics Leos. She loves these shorts to wear over her Leos. So I got her some Leos and shorts. Maybe not quite as exciting for her, but they are necessary and utilitarian. And so I think she'll be really excited to have them. Gift number eight is a Gab phone because again, she's had the same phone for several years now. It is in very rough shape. So we got her this new one and it has Gap music on it, has better photo capabilities and all sorts of things, including some fun apps where she can like draw and do some little art and stuff. So she's gonna love that. Gift number nine for Priya is that probably three times a week, she comes into my room and plays with my makeup and begs me to give her makeup that I don't use anymore because I have quite a bit. So gift number nine is very unconventional, but I've been slowly saving and setting aside all sorts of hair product, face product, makeup, other things that I get like from swag bags or leftover things that I don't use anymore or gifts that people have given me. And I'm going to give her a big box of hair product, face product, and makeup, pass that down to her. And she's going to be so excited. Priya is actually short one gift. So I only have nine gifts for her. So I'm headed to the store this week to try to figure out her last gift. Priya really struggled to come up with things that she wanted for Christmas this year. She just kept asking. She's like, can't we just go on a trip instead? So bless her heart. That's why a lot of her things are a little bit random on the smaller side, because it's simply just what she wanted or needed and she couldn't really think of anything else. So I'm gonna go surprise her with something fun and maybe unexpected. I just gotta figure out what that is. If you have any ideas, will you please leave them in the comments below? She's a 12 year old girl. I just really want it to be fun for her. And then the rest of this are just, again, stocking stuffers. Everybody gets a blanket. This is what hers is gonna look like. And then we're giving her another roll of film for her little camera. We got to her some hair clips, a spray bottle for her hair, some jewelry, some perfume, just little things like that for her stocking. All right, next up is Beck. He's a boy and he's he is 10, he'll be 11 in February. And he was actually hard because we had to actually narrow his list down. We just kept finding things that he really, really needed or would love. So for one, instead of Christmas jammies, this year everybody got a comfy or a cozy or whatever these are called. So this I'm actually gonna set off to the side with everybody else's. 
because it's not. They're gonna get these the first day of Christmas break and they love getting these instead of Christmas jammies. So that's a new tradition for us. All right, Beck's main gift is a metal detector. I got this for Prime Day back in the summer. I had been keeping my eye on him and I'm so excited he's wanted one for so long. So he's going to freak out over this. So this is a metal detector. His second main gift, just like Hutch, Nintendo gift card because he has a Switch, only has a few games on there and he's really been wanting more. He'll be able to get some new games. Gift number three, you know the drill, got him a new Gab phone as well. His is actually pretty broken. He doesn't really use it as often as he should because it doesn't work well. So he will be very excited to have a functioning Gab phone. Number four is a case for his Switch. He had one a long time ago and lost it. So this will help keep his cords together and keep everything protected. And then he actually broke one of his controllers. So we got him replacement controllers. So this is gift number four. We'll just put those together. Gift number five. This was actually less expensive than I expected. I got a really good deal on, on Black Friday, but he really wanted a wireless controller that he could use for the Xbox and the Switch. And he loved the glowing kind. So we got him that. Oh wait, sorry. I just counted. No, all of these we're putting together. Sorry. These are going to be one gift. One, two, three, four. So these are gifts five, six, and seven. If you can't tell, Beck is really into gaming. So we got him these three games that will be gifts five, six, and seven. He also has been begging and begging us for this book set to the point where he kept leaving me notes around the house about it. So he will be really excited to have this. So this is gift number eight, gift number nine, this big Nerf set. So he and Hutch can have a nice little war. And then number 10, just like Hutch is the BB gun. This is what it looks like. Just the classic version. Isn't that awesome? And it was a two pack. So they were like less than $15 a piece with the Target and the BBs. With his stocking, we're giving him, the other kids all have Squishmallows and he doesn't have one. So we're giving him this and then the blanket like everybody else. This actually he really, really wanted, but he has too many gifts. So I was just going to show you this. I got it from Sam's Club. But we're going to save this for his birthday because he has wanted a tech deck set forever. So he will get this in February for his birthday. Next is Davy. She is a girl and she just turned nine. Her main gift, I'm so excited about. This is a hoverboard go-kart from HyperGoGo. We've been looking at their things for a while. We are so excited to finally have some for our kids. Okay, and then tell oh me about this one. Okay, so this goes, attaches to hoverboards and you can use them basically with every hoverboard, but this one specifically has like off-road tires. I need to attach the steering wheel steel. It came with the helmet and these goggles. <laughs> and then this adjusts, fully adjusts. So you can have like our 10 year old on it all the way down to like our six, five or six year old. And then you control it with these guys. Boop, 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 boop. This is how you turn. Anyway, you break and she has even disc brakes. Yeah. This is legit. She's gonna freak out. I know we really struggled debating on who to give it to, but I think it's Davy's turn for something fun. So cool. Yeah, so she died to have one of these. As I a kid. Know. Oh my god. It's cool. And it's nice because all of our kids have ho hoverboards. You know, it's like you really can just get the frame if you need to. So this is her main gift and we are so excited for that. So the rest of hers are on the small side because this one's so big. So gift number two is this little diamond art set. She loves doing little diamond art. And then this is just a little carrying case for her to store her diamonds in. So that's number two. Number three is this drone. I know it looks fancy, but this was actually pretty cheap. I hope, I hope it actually holds up and works, but she really wanted a drone that she could borrow my phone and take pictures with. So hopefully she likes that. This will probably be her Santa gift. So one, two, three. Number four is this camera. It was actually gifted to me and I already have one, so I don't need it. So I'm going to gift it to her and it is actually a very nice camera. So this is a super nice gift, but it was nice because it didn't cost us anything with some film, but it's one of those instant cameras cameras like a Polaroid where it prints out a picture on the spot. So she's going to love that. Number five is a little cover for her Kindle. She is such a reader and she has a Kindle that she absolutely loves. So this is a cute cover that will keep it nice and protected. Gift number six is we were able to get her a completely free watch with Gab's Black Friday deal and hers is very old and she doesn't use it very often. So we got her a new watch that she will be so excited about. Number seven is she really wanted a doctor play set. So we got her this little kit so she can play doctor with her little siblings. All right. And then gift number eight, this set of Di Diary of a Wimpy Kid books. I actually, these were actually used on Amazon, but they were in great condition. We have a lot of these books, but she just really, really, really wanted the full set and she wanted them to be hers and hers alone. So I got her this 22 book set and was able to get a really good deal on them because they were used, but in 
really good condition. The box has seen better days, but the books look great. This is number eight. And then gift number nine for Davey is actually that I have an extra kind of adult diamond art set upstairs that I bought for myself and never used. So I'm going to gift her that so that it can go with her cute little diamond art thing here. So that's number nine. And then her 10th gift is a new Leo for gymnastics because she won't be, she won't think this is so exciting, but she really needs one. So this is number 10. And then just like everybody else, she's getting herself a blanket in her stocking and a comfy for her pajamas. Next up is Maury, who is a girl and she is seven. Maury, we are actually short by three gifts for her, I believe, or two. I don't know, we'll count in a second. So I still need to do a little shopping for her, but this is what we've got so far. Her main gift is this set from Sam's Club. It's a Barbie, it's like a monster high Barbie set with a bunk bed and all sorts of little accessories. So that'll be fun. This was about $38. She's gonna love that. Number two is this Light Bright, also from Sam's Club. I think she's gonna have a ton of fun with that. I remember this as a kid. Any other 80s, 90s babies in the house? Anyone remember these? Number three is a Leo, just like Davy. She really needed one. And then there's her stocking blanket. Number four is Kinetic Sand. She really, really wanted some just like Priya. So we got her that. Number five is a Gab watch. We had a Gab watch that she would use sometimes, but then we lost it in Florida. So she hasn't had one for a long time. So she will be really excited to have her own. Gift number six is a Kindle cover, just like Davy. I think she's going to love that. I think the pattern is so cute. Number seven, a diamond art set, just like Davy. They tend to like all the same things because they're only 17 months apart and best friends. So a lot of times what one of them wants, the other one wants, but I know that they share a lot. So I try not to duplicate too many gifts. For example, I know Davy's gonna play those two things with her. And I know that Maury will play doctor with Davy. So, but in this case, this is a good individual gift. She really, really, really wanted tiny Squishmallows. This is gift number eight, but I'm actually gonna find her a few more medium sized Squishmallows to go with this because this just feels really tiny to me. And then, like I said, we still need to get her two more gifts. So that will happen this week and then she will have her 10. And last year, Maury got an electric scooter. So she definitely got a nice big gift last year, which is why we kind of rotate and Davy's kind of getting a bigger electric gift this year. We just, you know, we don't get everybody something huge every year. We really try to be mindful and rotate. And so this year it's Davy's turn and Mac's turn, but we'll get to that. Oh, actually here, let's talk about Mac. Okay, Mac, he's our little guy and he is five. So Mac's main gift this year is this little electric motorcycle. It's his turn to have a big gift. And oh my gosh, I am so excited to give this to him. This is another Hyper Go Go product. It's just solid. It's so well done and it was really easy to put together. And this brand just has some really fun stuff. Oh my gosh, it's loud. You said there's steam that comes out? Yes, yeah, so you add water right here. You add water and then steam comes out in this exhaust where it's red. Oh my gosh. I gotta go, I gotta go with water. And it's just electric. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna freak out. Number two is if you know Mac, you know he's obsessed with cars. So off of Amazon, I got him this set of little pullback cars that spin and go in lines and I don't know, they're kind of funny. So that's number two. Number three is this little tool set because we're getting Dev a little workbench and we felt like we wanted them to be able to play together. So we got him his own little tool set. Number four is Mac now gets a gap watch. He's only five, so he wouldn't use this every day, but just when we go out to a pumpkin patch or Disneyland or somewhere as a family, we will always make sure he's wearing a watch so that in case we get separated from him, we can tr GPS track him and call him and he can call us. Us. Gift number five is this little dinosaur painting kit. He loves doing arts and crafts and I just thought this would be so fun for him to do. Gift number six for Mac is this paint palette and a painting pad. If you've seen my day in the life videos lately, you know that my littles love to paint. So this will be fun for him. Gift number seven is this monster truck set from Costco. He loves trucks and cars and I like the Hot Wheels brand. They tend to last a long time. So we like that. Okay, gift number eight is this cool, it's like a semi truck so you can carry it around like a car. So it looks like that, but then it opens up into a race car track, which is fun. And they can launch off and jump. And anyway, so he'll have a lot of fun with that. Oh, oops, I forgot to mention that our little kids, they actually only, we only do eight gifts for them instead of 10. We have learned in years past that really after opening a few gifts, they are satisfied and done. Half the time they get really overwhelmed if we give them like a lot of things. So we feel like eight is more than enough. And so that's, that's his eight. And then we also got this pair of 
pants for him that truthfully he will not think is cool, but he needs. And so we're probably just gonna stick it in a stocking or shove it in with one of his other gifts. I don't know, but that's eight for Matt. All right, now we've got little Joss. These are the twins and they're both three. They'll be four in March. Gift number one is this adorable little tangled set from Costco. She is just absolutely gonna love that. Number two is a frozen doll, also from Costco. She's obsessed with Elsa. Number three is a little doctor set. She heard Davy asking for it, and so she said she wanted to play doctor too. This was another super cheap Black Friday find. Gift number four is this tiny little tea set. This was another Black Friday find. They're little unicorn. I love it, and I like that they're metal, so they won't break easily. This is another one of those gifts that I know that all the little girls are gonna have fun playing with together. That's number four. Number five, this was $9 from Sam's Club. I could not help myself. I know she does not need another like large gift, but I literally couldn't help myself. It was like 980 something, or I don't even know, it was less than 10 bucks. And it's called a sibling set, isn't that sweet? So it's a little mermaid baby and her sibling. And oh my gosh, it's just so cute. And 10 bucks, I just, I couldn't say no. Sorry, I know I'm spoiling my kids, but I couldn't say no. Gift number six is the paint palette and a little coloring pad. Number seven, this pop-up play tent. They love making forts in the play room, but they make a huge mess because they just take blankets and drape them everywhere and they never stay up. So this one's fun because it's a little tent that pops up and I think it comes with this sleeping bag and then it turns into a duffel bag or it has a duffel bag as well so she can carry it around. And I just thought that would be the cutest, cutest thing for them to play with. Number eight is this jumbo sticker pad that she's gonna have a lot of fun with. And then there's her stocking stuffer blanket. And also I got her a pair of pajamas, a little Leo for dance and some no spill bubbles for her stocking. And last, but very much so not least, Mr. Deb, the other twin. He loves dragging things around the house. And I saw this wagon at Sam's Club that was $10. And I don't even know if it's gonna last. I don't know what the quality is, but I just knew he would absolutely love it. So we got him this so he can cart things around the house, this little toy wagon. Gift number two is he loves squeezing Play-Doh through things. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe it's cathartic for him. But so I got him this set of Play-Doh accessories and then this jumbo box of Play-Doh, which actually, this is another kind of a family gift where once we get out Play-Doh, everybody wants to play. So this will be something that everybody plays with. And we really did need to replace all of our Play-Doh. But look, it's a huge 48 set. So what I'm going to do is just take out some and make that a package and then just save the rest of these. And we'll slowly rotate them in throughout the year as the Play-Doh dries out or disappears. Gift number three is this set of trucks from Sam's Club. They must not. Oh, let's see. Got to pull the tab. They light up and make noise, so that'll be fun. And he will have a ton of fun playing with these. And they're young for young kids, but they also seem really sturdy, so that'll be great. His main gift in gift number four, this tool bench. He loves tools. In fact, we find him sneaking to the garage to grab Bubba's tools, and then he tries to break things and fix them all throughout the house. So we're hoping that by getting him this tool bench that he will just play with his own tools and stop trying to use real ones. I think he's just really gonna love it. And this is one that I I know that all three of these kids is gonna play with a lot. So hopefully they all have fun together. Here's jammies and blanket for a stocking. Gift number five, I got him a little set of cars too. I'm actually a little disappointed in the quality of these cars, but these are also pullback cars, I believe. Let me see. Yeah. So this is just another thing because I know he and Mac will want to play together. But yeah, these feel pretty cheap. They're plastic of metal. Huh. Gift number six is the paint pad and palette like everybody else. Gift number seven is a giant cocoa melon sticker pad, kind of like Joss's. And then number eight is the same tent set as Joss. So there you go. I know that seems like a lot. And honestly, it is. It is a lot. I know 10 gifts per kid with eight kids in our family is really a lot of gifts, but it just works for us. And we are not toy people. We don't really buy our kids toys throughout the year. We really try to save our gifts and trinkets for the year for Christmas. So it's really fun for us to spoil our kids and give them some fun things that hopefully they'll enjoy for a while. And remember, if you go back and watch my other video, we only do this every other year. So next year will be our turn to do a vacation as a family. And what we do is we only do three gifts and a stocking and then we go on vacation. So we do 10 gifts one year, three gifts the next 10 year, 10 gifts one year, three gifts the next. You can go back and see my last video on how we do that. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this maybe gave you some ideas, whether for last minute shopping for this year or maybe for birthdays upcoming or next year. Okay, what videos do you wanna see next? You know the drill, let me know in the comments. And I gotta hurry and get out of here and lock this up so the kids don't see it. And I gotta start wrapping. It's a lot of gifts to wrap. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. See you next Thursday. Bye.